Worth a try, but no real problem for Henry Smith. Hart's first shot on target came from the former international striker Morris Johnson, but Rhodes handling comfortably at the other end. The Perth men were still searching for a way through the Hearts' defence, and Philip Scott and Billy Dodds combining and coming this close to scoring. And then, just on half-time, Henry Smith had to be alert, stopping the speculative effort on the line from Tommy Turner. But those were the best chances in the first 45. In the second half, it was clear neither side was going to be too adventurous. Billy Dodds there with a good chance, but blasting over the top. John Robertson then gave a glimmer of hope to the sizeable travelling support, breaking outside the box, turning, and the shot well stopped by Andy Rhodes. Hearts were now giving Rhodes and his defence some problems. The corner kick, troubling the keeper, and finally cleared by Gary McGuinness. Now watch for this, the best chance of the game so far. Robertson teeing up Jim Weir and his thunderbolt stopped by Andy Rhodes. Hearts now very much in charge and they came within a whisker of scoring. John Robertson into the box, it's blocked and Mo Johnson just past the post. Man of the match John Cahoon must have been wondering what he'd have to do to get on the score sheet. Rhodes again saving and Johnson's reflex shot deflected past. But the full time, no scoring. To be fair, uh, one of the results has went our way today, or two of the results have went our way. It's in our own hands. We've discussed this uh, about nine games ago, that we declared what pointage we wanted to reach, uh, to think that we'd, we'd stay stay up. Uh, we're on course for that, and uh, the players, are. Uh, I, can't, I can't fault their attitude. I thought it was, uh, first and foremost, a very, very good game. It was certainly end-to-end stuff, and uh, the second half, we especially had a lot of goal-mouth chances, and at the end of the day, very unfortunate to come away with only one point.